what's going on guys Rana back here with another after effect tutorial and this video I'll show you how to use pixel motion blur plugin which comes with after effects cs6 or above version of after effect so there are a couple of ways to use this plugin so especially I like to use when I have a footage uh, which can speed it up or I have apply time remapping on the layer or time stretch on the layer to make footage faster so you may see my previous video when I had to apply time remapping or time stretch on a layer and I speeded up the layer but there was so much a uh, movement going on but really hard to follow along with so in this case we're going to fix that problem with the help of uh, this pixel motion plugin so let's get started so as you can see I already enabled time remapping of the layer so you can enable time remapping by right click go to time enable time remapping so I'm going to select last keyframe so let's just see the original speed of the footage so you can tell the difference all right guys uh, this is the original speed of the footage let's just speed this footage up so keep this right about there to make this speed reasonable so you wouldn't want, want your footage that much fast all right let's just ramp review now all right guys as you can see this is uh, speeded up footage but really hard to follow along with so this case i will use pixel motion plugins type pixel on the effect and preset panel and everything related to the pixel will comes up so we have to select this uh, pixel motion blur plugin under the time drag and drop on the layer or you can drag right here drop right here okay so once we apply this plugin footage slightly changes if i disable this plugin as you can see very slightly make sure you're watching this video in hd all right guys so this is the default setting of the plugin let me set this on the full let's ramp review now let me keep this on half all right guys as you can see right here after applying the pixel motion blur plugin we have a better result and easy to follow along with the moment so what if we have too much fast footage let's ramp review now all right guys as you can see right here this is too much fast footage you wouldn't want your footage that much fast but what if we have like this one uh, when we speed up this footage we have much more blur on the layer so in there in this pixel motion blur we have this shutter angle when we crank this up we have more stretch or more blur on the layer and another we have this shutter sample and uh, when we crank this up as well we will have much more realistic footage even we didn't shoot it this footage with that much fast with the expensive camera so next we have this vector detail if we crank this up as well this will give you more realistic details so I like to keep this speed on reasonable so and as well as I like to keep this setting default but you can play around with the settings uh, by your own so come up with different settings uh, it depends on uh, your footage so I think uh, that's the thing uh, when I use the pixel motion blur plugin but you can use this plugin when you deal with uh, 3d and uh, you can provide a realistic effect just simply drag and drop on your layer as well or you can apply on your uh, live action footage so that's the pretty much it guys i hope you really enjoy today's video if this helpful for you please don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so see you guys in next time